Sandra makes for a very expensive birthday cake. Cody here now with your two minutes of mayhem on this Friday morning. Ah, uh, but she got some distance on that cake, though. She did. She got some distance. Oh, she did. An unsatisfactory decoration job uh, led to a Michigan woman to drop kick a custom cake across a Kroger grocery store. Might be the greatest sentence I've ever read. Uh, <laughs> witnesses say she also dropped some pretty salty language before storming on out. Uh, Tricia Cortez faced a Michigan judge Thursday to learn her fate. She pleaded no contest to disorderly conduct uh, last month. She was sentenced to 300 hours of community service and a $500 fine. That's one expensive birthday cake. And Cortez still facing assault charges for allegedly slapping an ice cream store <laughs> worker when his store didn't have her favorite flavor. Huh. I'm thinking she's got some issues. Please keep your hands to yourself, guys. And remember, cake is delicious, not to be kicked. I think she has dessert specific issues. As a, it, as a chunky fella, I find it very <laughs> offensive that she kicked a cake. Hey, it's a cake. Come on. Hey, talk like a pirate day. Arg, it was Monday, but you can still get your hands on a huge pirate ship. This replica pirate ship has been welcoming people to the Club Regent Casino in Winnipeg since the 90s. Oh, yeah. It's the 90s. But the casino wants to get rid of it and make room for a new Mayan resort theme. So you put it up for sale online where anybody can bid on it. Once a buyer is found, it will take crews about a month to dismantle the ship. One guy who saw it online was interested in having the ship for his Halloween display, but he said it was just too big for his yard. Yeah. Make it work, mystery man. <laughs> At least let it be our GM Kevin. Yeah. How great would that be? Mm. Okay, uh, I want you to come to the studio for a segment. Uh, what you want to do is go to the pirate ship and turn right. Oh, sure, the pirate ship. And go ship. talk to Eleanor. She'll let you in. <laughs> uh, if you give a moose a muffin, he'll just want some jam to go with it. And there's none in the cupboard. He'll go find some on his own. That appears to have happened in one Colorado city. A three or four year old bull moose weighing between 800 and 1,000 pounds went running through a neighborhood. The big boy was eventually knocked out with a dart and loaded into a trailer, which is how they got me to sleep last night. Mm. Uh, he will be taken to the Pike National Forest, where he has lots of water and space, something far better than the middle of town. Isn't that how we usually get you to work? Dart you? Drive yeah. you down here on a trailer? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I got the day off. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> More darts uh, for Roseville. More darts at Roseville. Stat. <laughs> There it is. Mayhemmy. Very mayhemmy. Happening, people. Delicious.